Recently, we installed a 3 kW inverter from Dae and demonstrated how it can run a full load using two batteries. Now we will discuss the costing of this setup. If you want to install this inverter with a solar system at your home, how much total expense will be involved? The model we have here is the new design, but the specifications are the same as the previous 3 kW 24 volt model, only the outer design has been changed. The price of this inverter is around 80,000 rupees. This inverter is best suited for those who need to run around 3 kW of load during the daytime. It supports up to 4 kW of solar panels, so your complete load can run directly from solar power during the day. For example, if you have a shop, office or store where you need to run a 1.5 ton inverter air conditioner along with lights and fans, this system can easily handle it. Even if you have two 1 ton AC units along with lights and fans, it can still run that load comfortably. This inverter also has several useful features. It supports parallel connection. So if currently your requirement is 3 kilowatts, you can use one inverter. In the future, if you need 5 to 6 kilowatts of load support, you can add another inverter in parallel without replacing the old one. Then you will be able to connect up to 8 kilowatts of solar panels since each inverter supports 4 kilowatts of panels. This is a hybrid inverter, which means it works both as an on-grid and an off-grid inverter. It supports zero export mode and comes with a touchscreen display. On the display, you can see all parameters such as how much load is running, how much power is coming from solar, grid or battery, and whether your load is currently on solar, battery or grid. It also supports remote monitoring. You can check inverter data from your phone and Day also provides cloud monitoring so you can view system performance from a computer as well. The inverter is IP65 rated so it can be installed outdoors. For a 3 kW hybrid setup, you will need a battery. You can use a 24 volt lithium battery, but Daya's own 24 volt lithium batteries are not available in India. So you may use lead acid batteries instead. If you only need to run load in the day, you can use two 150 ampere hour batteries. If you also want to run heavy load at night, then it is recommended to use at least two 250 ampere hour or two 300 ampere hour batteries. Larger battery capacity will give better backup and longer battery life. Two 150 ampere hour batteries cost around 25,000 rupees. Two 250 ampere hour batteries cost around 36,000 to 40,000 rupees. If you choose lithium batteries, a 24 volt 100 ampere hour battery will cost around 30,000 to 40,000 rupees. A 24 volt 120 ampere hour battery will cost around 40,000 to 50,000 rupees depending on brand. Now, talking about solar panels. In the market, panels cost between 16 to 22 rupees per watt depending on the technology. N-type Topcon panels generally cost around 16 to 17 rupees per watt if purchased offline. If purchased online, the cost may go up to 20 to 22 rupees per watt. If you go for HJT technology panels, those usually cost around 22 to 23 rupees per watt. If you want to take government subsidy, then you need to use DCR solar panels, which cost around 22 to 26 rupees per watt. A 3 kilowatt DCR solar panel set will cost around 75,000 to 80,000 rupees. Apart from panels and inverter, you also need ACDB, DCDB, lightning arrester, earthing kit, panel stands, and wiring. These additional components usually cost around 20,000 rupees. So overall, with subsidy, the system will cost around 2,25,000 rupees. Without subsidy, the system will cost around 2,10,000 rupees. If you take subsidy, you will receive approximately 78,000 rupees subsidy benefit, which means your actual cost reduces by around 50,000 rupees. In some states like Uttar Pradesh, there is additional subsidy support. So the total subsidy can be around 1,80,000 rupees. In that case, your effective cost becomes around 1,20,000 rupees. Now about backup duration, if you run load during the day and you have 4 kilowatts of solar panels, you can run your load throughout the day. But if you run on battery only without solar or grid, then backup depends on battery capacity. 
For example, a 2 kilowatt load will run for about 1 hour on two good quality 150 ampere hour batteries. A 1 kilowatt load will run for about 2 hours. If you need longer backup, you must increase the battery capacity. However, you cannot connect too many lead acid batteries in parallel, so in that case, switching to lithium batteries is recommended. Lithium batteries are also available in custom capacities such as 24 volt, 200 or even 400 ampere hour for higher backup. I hope this explanation gives you complete clarity on the pricing and performance of the day 3 kilowatt hybrid solar system. If you still have any questions, feel free to comment. If you found this information useful, please like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to receive updates on similar videos.